Tries to put me down and says this school is great. I tell him right away, now what's the matter, buddy? Ain't you heard of my school? It's number one in the state. Hello, all aspiring and up and coming Jefferson students. I just want to say congratulations and good luck while you're here at Jefferson. And um, the best thing that I have to say about our program is that it's very personable. Um, I can agree with Brittany. I think it's very, uh, it feels like a family environment. Um, it's very inviting. Our professors are great. Coming from out of state, I was really nervous, but the Roanoke area is really great. It's going to be one of the highlights of your freshman experience. What I, wanted, what I want to say to all freshmen who are coming in is, you're going to be scared. I was a little apprehensive about moving away from home and coming to the Roanoke area. Well, when I first came to Jefferson, I didn't really know what I was doing. I came from a, a very, very small private Christian school. And when I say small, I mean very small. My, I'm talking my graduating class was about seven people, including me. You know that I can use somebody. The advice I can give about coming to Jefferson College of Health Sciences is utilizing your uh, professors and your um, academic advisors. They're always out to better you and help you succeed. And they always have an open door whenever you need to talk to them about something concerning class or maybe personal life or something that, to that matter. You're going to have an advisor. They're all here to help you, and those will actually be your teachers throughout the semester. They know what you're going through. They teach your classes. They know everything that they need to help you. So really use them as a resource. If you have questions about this, don't be afraid to ask them. Don't be afraid to make appointments with any of your teachers to go to their office. Just a little homework tonight. It's a lot Just of homework. A uh, there was just one uh, fragment of advice that I could leave you is that you need to study actively. Uh, you need to study before the class and within the hour afterwards. That is the best way that you can retain the most information. It saves you time and it saves you sleep, which is a very vital resource as a college student. When it comes to studying, you have to make sure that you know, you're focused about everything, you do everything you can to relax you. Me personally, I use a whiteboard and write all my things down so I can learn the information better and process it from. Uh, and to my brain. Um, then you know, sometimes when I get a little frustrated or just want to play around, I use Australian accent. So I'll be explaining something to a student and I'll be like, okay. And then, all right, this inserts here, this inserts here. You know, make it go by a little easier and faster. Take a little tension off, weight off your shoulders. And secondly, if I could just say one last thing, is that you need to establish good connections, good network connections with friends. Uh, they'll come in handy in times of stress to provide the relief that you need, go out to eat and hang out. They're also good when finals are approaching or any ordinary exam and you just can't quite get something down. They're there to lend advice because everyone understands things differently and they can help you in a way that you didn't know before as you can help them. So really use your resources to make sure that you're doing the best you can, maintaining the best GPA, getting the best grades, and more importantly, learning your information. Because when you go to the hospital, all of this stuff really does apply. When I took anatomy, I was like, when am I ever going to use this again? But when you get to med surge, it really does come back to you. But you need to, you need to just buckle down and study hard. I got a little help from my friend, with a little help from my friend. So I, I wasn't used to studying. I was used to just cramming the night before, and my teachers weren't very, they weren't very difficult, so they kind of excluded a bit of things. I remember I got a D on my first test, and that never happened to me, and my self, my self esteem kind of plummeted after that. I think one of the biggest things you can do is, if you find yourself having trouble with class, is to go ahead and start seeing a tutor or somebody that can help you. Um, be, just because, 
maybe the teacher is presenting it in the way that's, that you're able to understand. Um, and getting it from another student that's already been there might be able to help you understand a little bit more and get your grade up. It's also important to go ahead and get tutoring as soon as possible versus waiting until the last minute. Because otherwise it will be in the same class next semester and nobody wants to do that. You should really use your services while you're here. Um, the library has tons of books. You can actually even check out your textbooks at the reference desk if for some reason you're in the library studying and you don't have it and you need it. They'll let you take it for about two hours. The Learning and Writing Center is a great place where you can talk to the writing specialist. There are two here at the college to really help you with your papers. I was kind of hesitant at first. I was almost like, okay, should I go or not? Like I wasn't, you know, really sure on what kind of feedback I would get. And upon going there, I was like welcomed very warmly by both writing specialists. They're very helpful. And I can imagine being a freshman at first, you're unsure of what resources there are available to you. So I actually work at the Writing Center too as a work study. And it's a great opportunity to understand the processes of being able to be, become a better writer and what resources we offer. We're an APA format school, so I was new to that. I had never learned it before, believe it or not, in my undergraduate studies. So it was really helpful to have them as a resource. Yeah, um, we definitely, as a class, we participate in so many events together as a group. Uh, we do 5Ks together, and we have dinners together, and it just feels very family-oriented, and the fact that we all become really close, and then I think I, I like that closeness. I went to a really large undergraduate uh, program and school, so going from that to a smaller one is definitely comforting. With as many organizations as JCHS offers, it would be crazy not to join one. Um, I'm part of the Student Nursing Association, and we do a lot of things for the school as well as the community outside. And it just really helps bring a sense of togetherness. It lets you network with other people, and it makes you feel part of the college group. So the two main things I would say is that you need to study actively, but you need to you need to study actively. You need to establish strong network connections. So yeah, just the, the take home message that I want you to get from this is study hard. You can overcome it. Make friends with with as much people as you can, and and you can do it. <laughs>